Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Leaf Green and today we are going to be taking care of the seventh gym. We are almost there with the gym challenge in this game before we move on to the later half of this um, challenge. So let's get started. We're going to go into Blaine's gym. I did a lot of grinding off screen so I wouldn't have to do much in terms of battling the trainers today. As you can see our team is now fully in the 40s with three of our members in, at 45. So this should be a good time. I'm looking forward to this battle here. So we're just going to go right into this. I'm going to answer this quiz, get them all right, and move on. So, I don't want to battle you. All right, here we go. Get it right, the door opens the next room. Get it wrong, we have to battle this guy. Caterpie does involve into Metapod. Because I am not stupid. So there's two trainers here, which is interesting. All right. There are nine certified. There's only eight certified League badges and the Fighting Dojo. So I don't want to accidentally fight this guy. Call back evolves twice in this game. Because Politoed does exist, but in this game's world, for some reason, it doesn't until you beat the game. See, that one stumped me a little bit. They are not effective against Ground-type Pokemon. Ground-type resists. In fact, I think it's I think it's immune, I think is the proper term. No, resist is just not very effective. But anyway. All right. Yeah, stats, stat differences. I had to think for a minute on that one. That one made me think. Is this the tombstone one? I love that one. Of course, it's, I think it's the last question, too. All right, so we're going to lead off with Gyarados right away. This should be a pretty painless battle. Let's get started. We're just going to send it, honestly. I didn't even think about buying burn heals or anything, but hopefully Gyarados can solo this. That was the reason I brought him. Uh, and led with him. So once again, we're still having issues with the animation for Intimidate and like any stat drop. As you can see, he gets me too. So we're pretty even on that front. We're just going to go right with Water Pulse. I'm going to try to save Hydro Pump till the very end. I'm going to try not to have to use Hydro Pump very much. Right off the gate with a Hoko. All right. Next member of the team. We got Pony Talk coming out next on Blaine's side. Should be another pretty painless battle between these two. Level 40. So he is going to barely surprise me. He's going to get the confusion off. Maybe this will be what KOs it. He's going for bounce. Okay, so I'm going to just burn a turn on bite here. Maybe it'll hurt itself up there. It is somehow going to not get affected by bounce. And he is going to hit the Hyper Potion on it, so it's going to get pretty much fully restored. We're going to go for Bite this turn. I was hoping that it would KO itself. Um, should be more than enough HP to KO it from Water Pulse. Must be some sort of speed tie. Or, no, I've been I've been leading this the whole time. Never mind. That's what I thought was a speed tie. All right, Rapidash coming out next. His A, or not his Ace, but his next one up. So the question is, do I go for Hydro Pump here? It lands, surprisingly. And gets the Oko. And see, I'm probably not going to be quite so lucky with it landing on Arcanine because it's just such an inaccurate move. Which is why I still have Water Pulse on Gyarados is as a backup. Accidentally double pressed it, but it worked out. This might not KO, but I'm hoping it will. Ah, so close. So more than like... Oh, he takedowned. The recoil almost got him. All right, I'm, I'm buying on him, hyper potioning up. I don't quite know if that's going to fully heal him or not. It is. We're going to hope we can land Hydro Bomb for three turns in a row. We do, surprisingly. Uh, and that is going to dish out a ton of damage and get the crit and the KO. If only that would happen to turn ago. Regardless, that is the seventh gym badge now acquired. 
Uh, and Gyarados will more than likely, once again, be the, the star of the show with Giovanni as well. Uh, and that, I believe that's going to be Overheat. We just got Fire Blast. So, the question is, do I want to give my Charizard that? I mean, it would be a nice upgrade from Flamethrower. But if I remember correctly, Fire Blast's accuracy is less than stellar. Let's see. So, yeah, 85% accuracy. You just... I don't honestly don't know if it's worth it. Let's see. Let's let's compare. We'll compare it with Flamethrower. So I think Flamethrower is 100% accuracy. It is. And, I mean, the power is a pretty stark difference. But... I don't know if it's going to be that that useful, honestly. It's a great move, but it's just not accurate. Because you know, 85% accuracy is more like 50. Alright, so we're just going to waltz on out of here. And we will probably get a visit from Bill here momentarily. Who will take us to the Sevy Isles and uh, start a little bit of a side quest line. There he is. All right. Convenient. All right, we are now in the Sevy Isles. So. We're going to go see Celio, and this is where the post-game will be a big thing here, which I don't think I'm going to cover, uh, honestly. So, yeah. So, we're going to be handling some stuff on this to... Um Something like that. We need to handle the uh, berry, uh, berry forest deal. And uh, did I not get the town map at the very beginning of the game? Did I forget that? Huh? Why would I forget to get that? That is such a weird thing to forget. Alright, so we're now on two island. We're going to head over to this game corner. And I believe this will set up the plot for three island. Alright. This is Lostel's dad. Alright, so now let's head on over to Three Islands and handle this plot line right here with Lostel and the infamous Hypno. That uh, is sus. Very, very sus Pokemon. Um, usually I catch it. I don't quite know if I'm going to do that this time. We got some bikers hanging out here. This is going to be a little bit of a quest line. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Poke Center. I don't think we healed up after that last gym battle we didn't so let's go ahead and heal up here and we will head on into this battle here with this biker gang this should be fun all right so we're gonna handle these guys So it's gonna be a handful of battles. So 
So bikers typically carry poison types, so this might be a little bit of an issue. Considering that my ground type doesn't have ground type moves. But I uh, should be able to make quick work of them. Their levels are not very high. So let's just go straight into it. We're going to go for Water Pulse. I trained against a lot of Pokemon at this level. At the Pokemon Mansion. Man man Mansion? Mansion. Alright, so we're at a point we can just bite in this battle. In this specific matchup. Alright, so he's going to send in a Grimer next. Should be pretty painless as well. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, that's a win. Let's see if we can get this. I don't know why that wasn't working the directional side. I need to do several things. Try to handle so many things at once. So I don't know how many battles in a row we have to do here. Of course he's going to get the poison off too. That's that's annoying. Gyarados just holding down the fort right now. So we can dispatch this guy pretty quickly. Alright, so of course he is going to have an advantage with us being poisoned, but should be able to handle this pretty easily. I'm surprised we've now hit Hydro Pump four times in a row. We nearly got the KO with that. He's going to set up a Haze and eliminate all stat changes, which is going to get rid of the Intimidate drop. Should be able to polish this one off pretty quickly though. So let's see what he has next. If he has another Pokemon at all. He has a Muck coming out next. We are going to switch out though. Because I do want to give someone else the show here. Because Gyarados has just been carrying us this episode. So we're going to throw out Raichu. And over Thunderbolt. Raichu hits pretty hard. So I expect that to do a decent bit of damage. He's a bit of a glass cannon. But not as much damage as I would have liked. He's now set up two Acid Armors. It's not really helping him very much in terms of Raichu's Thunderbolt attack. We are going to miss Slam, unfortunately. Uh, he's going to hit the Sludge. He's going to get the Poison off as well. He's not. Let's see if we can polish this one off with Slam. And 
that is a win. Got a full restore, which is nice. It's a nice win. Alright, so we're going to be hunting down Lostel now. Obviously, for those who know this game, know that she is not on Bond Bridge. She is all the way in the Berry Forest, which I believe we might need cut for. So I may be switching out someone with my Diglett, so I have my cut user. Um... Just in case. We don't have to like backtrack or anything. I just would like to get through this quickly. So we're going to grab Diglett. And I guess we'll swap him out with... Or swap her out with Hitmonchan this time. Uh, since Raichu took the bench for the longest time for Diglett. We're going to go ahead and set up our lead. We'll just lead with Raichu because he's on the lower side of the experience points table now. Well, actually, he's not the lowest, but, you know, could be stronger. So let's head on out of the actual Three Island Village here. On a Bond Bridge. See, I don't know if this part of Cut was necessary, like a requirement, but I'm trying to avoid battles as much as I can. It looks like we're going to have to battle this woman at least, though. So she's going to send out a Bulbasaur. It's a nice thing to see out here. So probably would have been better to leave with Charizard here. But obviously, I didn't expect it. Razor Leaf's going to do literally nothing. A Flamethrower should Oko Bulbasaur. I don't know why you have a level 36 Bulbasaur. That is Venusaur levels right there. But it does help for seeing all three starters, and I assume that's why that's the case. Oh, she's got an Ivy Sword as well. Okay. But I'm going to highly doubt her last is a Venusaur. She has two Ivy Sword. That is such an interesting team. And we are going to get the KO, and that should wrap up this battle. Hopefully one of the only battles we have to do, at least for the moment. Now we're going to cross the actual Bond Bridge. And I think we are about to enter the Berry Forest, which is where Lostel is actually hiding out at. So... Let's get through this, hopefully, relatively quickly. So, yeah, I do see we need a cut, so I'm glad I grabbed my cut user. Already finding Hypnos. These things are sus. I mean, you don't need cut to get through here, but it is nice to have just to cut time. See what it did there? Cut time. Alright, anyway. Um, terrible jokes aside... Pidgeotos are wild here. That's cool. And they're right about levels primed for Pidgeot. But no need for that in this run. The thing I love about Pokemon is you can practically, with some work, beat the game with any Pokemon you want. Other than Magikarp. Maybe. I'm sure my driver has done a playthrough of one of these games with just Magikarp. If so, I need to go watch it, because I don't remember it off the top of my head. And I watch so many of his playthroughs. Alright. Probably a good place to train Raichu, honestly. With all the Pidgeotos here. Uh, oh. Oh, this is just a shortcut, which I'm going to take advantage of. Right, this should be where she was hiding at. There she is. So here we go. 
the Hypno Battle. The infamous Super Sus Hypno, which is actually a lower level than the other Hypnos we've seen so far here. I don't know why this one was so level. This is meant to be like a semi-boss fight. It is such a low level. Alright, let's wrap this up with a good old Thunderbolt to close this out. Very Ash anime-esque. And that is going to wrap this one up. Alright. So, Lostel is now saved. We're going to get the Ayapapa Berry. So, now we're back at the game corner. See, I'm gonna give this guy the meteorite. Hey, a moonstone! Heck yeah, get down with that. Actually, should, I, I don't know if there's any dialogue I might need to read. Might as well. Oh, and he's gone. All right. All right, let's head back to one island and handle the last of this quest line and. Probably wrap this video up, honestly. I don't really know what else we can do, honestly, at this point. Without this being like a freaking 45 minute long video and going into battling Giovanni already. But, don't quite need to handle that right now. Maybe something we handle in a later installment. By that, I mean next video. Alright. And there we go. And we are back in Cinnabar. Where does he go? Does he just jump in the water and swim somewhere or something? Like, he just goes off screen that way. Why can't he, like, made sense? And, like, been like, oh, we're just going to go up this way. Maybe there's a boat up here somewhere. All right. Anyway, guys, I think this wraps up today's episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um... <laughs> On that bombshell of Bill disappearing, it is time to end. So thank you all. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.